people often use the word leadership development. And when you look at the programs that sit behind uh, courses that have this type of name, um, they tend to get fed a lot about leadership. Um, uh, what it is, how it can be defined, uh, techniques and so on and so forth. And, and so people are bombarded, powerpoints, uh, etc, etc. And they're sort of continuously held in the role of student. And there's some sort of master at the front of the room that tells them, you know, what they should know. Um, our program is completely unlike that. Our emphasis is on development. Uh, in other words, we, we try to get people to do a lot of work in the reality of the course environment. We try to get people to develop habits uh, and, and to do that we rehearse them. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, work in, um, in our program that uh, I don't see occurring uh, in similar types of programs. I'm sure there will be some around that have this, this kind of focus, but if I look at the public sector leadership environment, I think our program is far less cognitive, much more behavioral, um, much less prescriptive and much more reflective. I think um, you know, one key component of our program is to uh, immerse people in what we call a live case of a real life social issue, uh, one that's either at the front uh, part of the papers or one that has been a, a government concern and issue for many years where uh, you know, progress is hard to achieve, so we, we go to a wicked issue uh, or an untamed problem uh, and we, we organize a whole series of encounters for our participants uh, with people who work in that area. At the service delivery front line could be in regulatory roles, could be NGOs, could be policy people. Uh, and, and so we give them a kind of whole of system view of uh, such issues and they get to advise uh, the real policy makers uh, in, in that issue. So, you know, you can't make it any more real in a course environment uh, than that, I think.